you a fool, but it's who you a fool, but it's I walk like I talk like I act like I look like I think like my shit don't stink. I fuck like I suck like I ride like I taste like I look like my shit don't stink. I walk like I talk like I act like It is Monday. We're back with another not really weekly vlog, just a couple days in the life because it is Monday, April 10th, and I leave for LA with Dark Sport for Memento Mori on Friday, and then I'm there Friday. I'm staying through Wednesday because I am seeing a couple people um, out there, and then I come back Wednesday. I'll be in Chicago Thursday, and classically, I booked another trip. I'm going to see my friend Eve and her girlfriend Holly. They live in Minneapolis. I could drive, but I'm not supposed to drive more than like 30 minutes right now because my boobs, and I'm just not trying to drive seven hours in general. Um, so I use those Delta points, <laughs> and I booked a flight for not this upcoming Friday, but the next Friday, so that next weekend. Um, because I literally haven't seen, well, I saw Eve over Christmas, but I haven't seen her girlfriend Holly literally since Sam's celebration of life when I asked her I was like well the last time I saw you and she told me that I was like okay yeah I'm broken yeah like I gotta go so I'm gonna show you guys these next couple days just like obviously you guys know I'm not training right now because we got some yiddies oh you guys haven't really seen the reveal so this is obviously they look fake as shit right now which honestly I kind of like <laughs> they're like on my chest but these are the titties um but I can't do anything right now my doctor said at four weeks post-op I can consider walking on a treadmill for a mile but I can't swing my arms and I don't want my heart rate to get up too much and then at six weeks I consider training but I literally can't walk on a treadmill until then because basically the issue right now is if my heart rate raises heart rate going up means fluid to the like incision where the implant is right and if there's fluid by the implant that means the uh the implant can move and we don't want that i'm also waiting on there's this bra i have to wear not a regular bra it literally just is like it's like you know when people have the sports bras that like go around your neck like that it's like that but it's like it goes between your boob and up on your shoulder like that basically so i don't get a uniboob since they are over the muscle I keep getting a lot of messages from people being like, well, this person was fine by this time, this person was fine by this time. Like, let's get it straight. I feel fine. Like, I haven't taken Tylenol since, what, yesterday was Sunday? Saturday morning. But honestly, I think I just took the Tylenol because my head hurt because we drank on Friday night. <laughs> I think that's really the only reason. Like, I feel fine. They do feel more sore and swollen, like, the more things I do throughout the day. Not, like, saying, like, I went picking up all this shit and, like, whatever, but, like just if I have to like open a door like stuff like that like the more I do that the more sore they are but I feel fine it's just the point of being recovered doesn't mean how I it's not just about how I feel it's like the implant itself you know so I'm not gonna fully be recovered until August because I have to wear a sports bra at least a sports bra if not that bra that I bought on Amazon that they told me to buy that's coming in a a couple days hopefully before I leave for LA for the next four months I have to wear like something like that constantly um he said like for events and stuff like whatever I can like change it but he's like no bandos like it always has to be up so I'm gonna wear swimsuit tops of Memento Mori I asked him he's like oh they'll look great I was like oh I'm not worried about them looking <laughs> about how they're gonna look um but he was like yeah if you just tie it tight enough like you'll be good so yeah so that's what we're doing right well I didn't even told you what we're doing right now what the fuck are you saying Kenzie um uh, so right now, it's Monday, obviously, so I have check-ins to do, so I'm going to get as many check-ins as I can before 10 o'clock. At 10.30, I'm getting more Botox, because the fuck is this? That's all I'm saying. Um, I've been working with at Solux, so uh, I've been working with them for, like, content stuff. Basically, they were just like, if we give you, like, free shit, like, will you post about it? And I was like, absolutely. But I'm not going to get done at Solux today, because we just had some other things that we've had to do and I was just like I need this Botox now like we'll do that when I get back but that's why I got like a lymphatic drainage massage like the other week you guys saw that um I got the microneedling you guys saw that too I think you guys saw that hope you saw that I think I posted that we'll see um so I um 
Yeah, I think I did. Me, I don't even know if I did, but whatever. So, uh, I've been working with them on, like, stuff like that, but it's just, we've been trying to do this green peel for me, but just, like, the timing of my life hasn't worked out. But anyways, long story short is I need Botox ASAP Rocky. It's probably not going to be, like, settled by the time I'm in LA, but the time I'm in Minneapolis, maybe? So, I don't know. So, we're going to do that later, and then... I'm going to be downtown, so there's a couple, like, errands that I want to run, and I need another pair of jeans. I got a pair from Abercrombie, and I would like to return, so since I'm going to be downtown, I'm going to do that over there, I think, since I'm there, and then finish the rest of my check-ins um, later, but I'm going to finish all of them that I have in my inbox right now as soon as I possibly can. Drink my coffee, I'll make some breakfast in a bit, but that's kind of what we're doing today. I'm really taking this chance now over the next couple weeks that I'm not going to have, like time like I won't be training obviously like getting things done that I wasn't getting done like number one jack girl shit volume two like let's talk about that Kenzie we need to get that done and out by the end of this fucking recovery bullshit right and then I bought this course from John Jewett like literally a year ago that I've not finished so I need to do that it's like a course for coaches and like PEDs and shit like that um so I do need to finish that because what the fuck so yeah that's what we're doing and I'm looking down because I have my little planner and then hopefully me and Adrian can film yeah, hopefully me and Adrian can film sometime this week, like, film stuff. I told him, like, while I'm recovering, like, even though we can't do workout content, like, we can do, like, lifestyle content, like, film stuff down, downtown, whatever, so. Yeah, if you guys don't know, I'm officially working with Adrian. We, like, made, like, a monthly thing where, like, we're gonna come up with multiple videos. So just know that guaranteed there are two videos on YouTube a month. <laughs> because he will be filming and editing them and not Kenzie. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, everyone, let's say congrats, Kenzie, because I just finished all the check-ins that were sent in. Just like 12 of them, so it's a win for me. But we're gonna make some breakfast. Uh, for some reason during my recovery, I like rediscovered uh, like salmon on bagels, but presently my carbs are a little lower, okay? Um, just because I've been in the house, well, you guys know I was on a mini cup before this, right? This past week, I was like on but off. I don't fucking know. It was either like I wasn't eating or I was eating, so we gotta get together. So I'm have been back to tracking as of yesterday. Carbs are lower, so I got those bagel thins. Peyton, I saw her eating those. I was like, so fucking smart, because I can put a laughing cow cream cheese wedge on it and then put the salmon on top, and it's like the same thing, but not like 50 carb. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that with my eggs and ketchup. You guys know the deal. Um, eggs and egg whites. So I'm just gonna do two egg whites and probably like 100, 150 grams of, um, egg whites and then two whole eggs I don't know what I was just saying um but yeah we're gonna do that and then I have to leave in like an hour oh yes all of the fucking shells that just went into that entire thing and I know everybody tells me they're like boom I know everyone tells me like oh crack it on the counter and you won't get the eggshells that's also a lie because it doesn't matter if I crack it on the thing or crack it on the counter but I don't know, I've, it literally doesn't make a difference. And I just don't understand how people crack eggshells. Like, it just makes no sense to me. But anyways, we're going to make this because I'm starving presently. Um, and then I'll show you the salmon situation. Boom. Bum, bum, bum. And today what I want to do is I started, <laughs> I started editing, um, uh, I filmed like a how I got into competing video when I was in prep, like literally like four weeks ago. I look like a little gremlin. Um, but yeah, I look like a little gremlin. I guess I can show you guys that's why I'm doing it. And I started editing it like a how I got into competing video, but I don't know if you guys need it. Um, you guys understand. Turn the scale on zero. Open up. Oh shit, this is like a brand new thing of egg whites. Sad thing of egg whites. Put that on there. It's on grams, make it zero. So it says zero presently. You take it off, pour what you need in there, and then it will tell you when you put it back on what the negative was. That was 112 grams. So then in my fitness pal I'll put 112 grams of egg whites. All right, we see, we see. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna add some, I got more of this yesterday, my Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse, or not yesterday, but you understand, okay? And I forgot to take all the paper off, so I like slightly twist it. Well, so we're gonna do that, and then I'll show you the little bagel thins I've been using. So they're just the Thomas bagel thins, and I get the everything bagel seasoning kind, and there's one fat, 25 carb, and four protein. 
and a regular bagel. The ones I have in my freezer right now are like 45 carbs. So it helps me still have the vibe without, you know, doing all that. But what we're gonna do, fuck my air fryers. This is out, oh, okay. Cause my air fryer, oh, this is bad. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Cause I do like to talk a bit. My air fryer is literally so disgusting. Ew, okay, this is not gonna be an option. We're gonna put it on a pan cause there's like chicken shit in this and that's just even, even too gross for your girl. But anyways, they are like a thin, okay? They're like very small. But what we're gonna do is, once these are cooked, we're gonna put that on there and then I'll show you what I've been doing. Oh shit, I forgot the main part of this. Heavy. Lay. Okay, I bought these chicken sausages from Whole Foods. The macros are insane. Three fat, one carb, and 13 protein. Insane for like a chicken sausage because a lot of times they're like, not the greatest macros. It'll be like seven fat. And I'm like, what are we doing? So I just take some kitchen scissors and I just put that in there. Normally I let it cook beforehand, but the other day they kind of got like way overcooked. Okay, honestly, I'm so fucking hungry right now. You know when you're so hungry, you like feel like you're gonna vomit that's a little bit in this present moment. Starving. So we're gonna let that cook. And do, okay, I don't even have a little spatula. I really need to do dishes this morning too. I think I literally said them last night. I'm very much confused. Maybe it wasn't last night, but we're gonna do that like so. You guys understand the vibe. Um, yeah, so that's the chicken sausage. It's by Belinsky's. And I got it from Whole Foods. And honestly, I'm probably gonna get it more. But yeah, I guess I can make this like a full day of eating. Is that what I should call this vlog? Maybe not, probably not. Um, but anyways, we're gonna do that. And then instead of cream cheese, I'll do two laughing cow wedges. One wedge is one and a half fat, one carb, two protein. So it's kind of a win there as well. So I'm kind of making my salmon bagel, but making it fit into my pretty little macros right now, if I'm gonna be honest. But yeah, we just lowered, or my food is just lower, and I haven't talked to Kerrigan yet. Um, she, last week she told me just to hit the macros I was hitting before, like when I was finishing my mini cut. Um, but yeah, so should we just finish those? But I have a feeling it's gonna be around the same because my food has to be decreased for the amount of movement that, like to make up for the movement that I'm not doing. I'm not doing cardio. I'm not hitting anywhere near 10K steps a day. I'm not training. So like my macros are going to reflect that, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna, I've been eating my veggies in my later meals too. Just because sometimes veggies make, like when they're frozen veggies, they make this shit like watery and I'm not appreciative of that. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. This looks like a fucking pan to toast them in. Since I don't have, wrong one. Since I don't have a regular toaster, I just spray a pan and I pan toast this bitch. So once she gets a little hotter, I'm gonna pan toast that and then I'll show you my laughing cow salmon situation. This is what it looks like toasted and I have the laughing cow on top. If you have time to like leave the laughing cow out on your uh, counter, that would be ideal because it makes it easier to spread. But anyways, I put it on the scale, put it on zero. The salmon I use, I got it from, it's in here. Um, I got it from Whole Foods, like or everything with the bagel. So I just take the pieces out that I want on it. And I just like lay it on there. It'll tell me on the scale how much is on there. And this makes it like even more high protein, which I like. So I run with the salmon honestly super quickly though. I might go to Whole Foods later today so I can have some for the rest of the week. I'm not doing too much grocery shopping this week though because obviously I'm leaving on Friday. But I do want to leave some food there. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna add my sugar-free ketchup or low sugar, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. Um, to my eggs, eat this, and then it'll be time to go and get that Botox soon. Okay, tell me it's not serving horror. Tell me it's not, okay, a little BBL Jack, a little Amazon moment. Come on, come on, come on. Surprisingly, a lot of my sports bras still fit me. So we're gonna go get this Botox and do a little errands and go to Target and go to Lulu. Whatever, you, you guys will see. Possibly. 
Okay, this will only be up here for so long. I just don't know where my tr car tripod went, but it's the way I was in the um, elevator with my neighbor, and what the fuck? And he's like, <laughs> and he's like, oh, I'll go to work. I was like, no, I didn't work this morning. Let me go and get Botox. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I don't think he knows I don't work out in person anymore because I always wear workout clothes. But yeah, titties be popping today. That's all I'm saying. Titties be out. Um, I can't find my Lululemon receipt, even though I don't really think I need one, but. I have time this week to go and do that, but I am going to do, I have a Nordstrom return too, so I'm going to go and do that, because that's right over where my Botox is, and then I want to find another pair of jeans, because, uh, if you guys notice, like, on TikTok, those, like, black with white stitching cargo pants I have, you'll notice I wear those very often, because they're, like, the only pair of going out pants that, uh, fit me. I do need to sell some of my clothes on Poshmark while I'm like in recovery and shit but I need to go and get new jeans and since I'm going to be downtown I told you guys earlier I'll probably go over to Zara too because that's right down there but yeah that's what we're doing now I put in a new battery in this so hopefully this isn't going to die on me while I'm out and about also I know I'm not supposed to carry more than like he said like anything more than a gallon of water but if I have I don't know if this tote bag like on my shoulder it's like I don't know if it's like me it being on my shoulder is too much I don't really know the rules for that quite yet so I should probably ask him because I have my like tote bag with me but I couldn't find anything else that my camera fits into so that's what we're doing now I'm like mm, we're gonna just hope there's not traffic because I do need to be there in like 10 minutes so pray for Kenzie once again okay goodbye all right y'all we are walking over to Pure Med Spa right now. We will see if I film any of this. Sometimes I feel okay asking if I can film these services and sometimes I just don't want to ask. Um, but yeah, we're gonna fix this. I don't know, people always ask about Botox. It takes literally two minutes. I can't believe my, this doesn't look dirty because my screen is 1000% dirty. Um, but yeah, I think this is Gold Coast. Which I don't know what my code is. Hi, welcome to Pure Med Spa, opening door for you. Slay, we're in. I'm like one minute late, so it's probably the next I'll take. We're here. Pure Med Spa. I came here like two weeks out of prep because when you're young, Botox metabolizes super quickly, and then when you're in prep, bruh, the whole thing. But they have music playing, so I'll turn this off. All right, people, this is what my forehead looks like right now. It'll be fine throughout the day. I will be just going shopping looking like this, but it took like five minutes. I didn't ask to film it because I'm just not. So this is the vibe. Sometimes I don't want to be the annoying YouTube bitch, okay? Um, but they have this thing, it's called like Alley. I don't know, like all meds was in here. I feel like have it. It's basically a point system for Botox, right? So I got $80 off. If you don't know, like it takes a, like it takes like two weeks for this to like settle so that you don't see the lines. So I knocked out. I think like 12, 13 check-ins this morning. Um, check-ins are due at noon, my time CSC. Sorry, I'm walking by like a school. Hello streaming children. And yeah, so I'll just finish the rest of those check-ins. Afternoon, I'll like sit at a Starbucks for a second and crank through my check-ins. Um, but yeah, there's an Aritzi up here, so you know I'll be stopping. Okay, it's super kind of cute. I'm like looking for tops that I still can wear like a sports bra with, essentially. But, I don't know. Not a whole lot is serving for me presently at Aritzia. Yeah, like, okay, imagine one my titties can look good and like just a little tank dress, like fire. Okay, so first thing is I like their t-shirts here. I have the sports bra on underneath to see how it would fit. I don't think the gray is, the, I don't know, maybe it's just the sports bra. Actually, I might, I don't know, we'll see. I have a white one. They only had a small lift. They had a medium, but it had a state on it. And then these cargos I also put on the black. I have no pants on. Like, I just need you to imagine the vision with the fit, okay? Um, the pockets are kind of interesting. They like do this thing on them. I don't know. I do want to try in the medium, see how that looks, because I have those in like a darker color. We'll see. And then I just have another white t-shirt and then this bodysuit that I'll show you. Okay, I don't necessarily love these together, but this white top I already had, but I got it stained, so I'm getting another. And then I like the darker ones better. They're a little tighter. Like I feel like my butt looks better in them. I don't know. I'll probably wear like a bottom like this. Maybe when I am in Minneapolis. I don't know, but I wear cargos all the time, so... And I also have a habit of like either buying things when I'm super skinny or when I'm very, very thick. Um, and I feel like these are going to fit me like more in between. But they're cute little going out like spring pant moment. So I'm probably going to get these. As much as I talk shit about not wanting to go to Michigan Avenue, <laughs> I sure am here a lot. I really did find my parking situation like 
down that way and over, um, which means nothing to all of you because nobody's stealing my parking spot because I'm not about to come down here and then it's not there anymore. Um, but no, it's so nice out. It's like 60 degrees, just like perfect temperature. I don't know, but we're gonna find a Zara, go to Nordstrom, and honestly, wherever else I wanna go. All right, y'all, it is low-key hot out. I just went to Saks um, for no reason. I don't film in there because I got, I've never been yelled at, but I just, that story gives me the vibe that I'm getting yelled at for filming. I just can't deal with that embarrassment. But I'm gonna go and find this Zara up here. I do have a Nike gift card that maybe I can get a sports bra to wear right now. I don't fucking know. Um, and then Nordstrom, so that is what we'll be doing. Pants, but this is why having thick thighs is an issue because it's just not, it's giving me a little like too tight and I want it to be looser fit. Like I want to wear this like, it's like an outfit, you know? All right, if you've been watching the vlog for months, you know about the fucking denim dress. Zara has it again. Not in my size, and unfortunately, it only comes in like a tube top, like it's a tube dress situation. And I literally am not allowed to wear anything like that until maybe possibly August. So that's now, but also good thing to know my size, otherwise I would be twice as sad. Yeah, nothing at Zara is giving cute enough to want to stand in that long ass fucking line. Today. I don't know what it is with Zara, but they'll always have like 700 people in the store and have one single way no So we're gonna skip on that. Might stop at HR on the way home, but I do want to go home and eat. Forehead's looking kind of better. I don't know. And then I think later tonight is I'll go to Target and then go venture off. Okay, Akira was serving, but not things that I can wear right now, and I was just like, we gotta get out of there because I simply don't go to Akira without spending at least $200. It's just, I don't think I've ever once done it. Don't think it's part of who I am. But we will be going and checking out for 21 since we're here. Why not? But I'm also getting tired. So I need to finish my check-in, so. Okay, I'll talk to you guys when we're at, when we're at Perfect 21. Okay, so, so far in Perfect 21, it's giving very much mm, Easter, very much going to church, very much not Kenzie outside vibes. That would be a cute beach cover-up. So I don't know, we're gonna check over here. It's giving more hell, we're hoping, so. Yeah, this would be a cute little, more like Vegas cover-up vibe. I'm not going to Vegas anytime soon, but imagine if I was. It's like now that I can't wear bandeaus, all the cutest fucking bandeaus start to exist. I'm sorry. A moment. Personally, I feel like this is a moment. I don't know. I think, it, come on. However, I did find these pants. I'll go to a mirror so you can see it. They have like, do you see how they have like cuts down there and on the legs? Um, we'll see. There's a great chance it's going to be a no, but maybe. Okay, I can't tell if I like these. I don't know. Obviously not with the top, okay? I feel like the crotch looks kind of weird, no? And my butt looks kind of good in it, a little bit. It's not like small, but I don't know. All right, y'all, that wasn't a whole lot of shopping. Really, I could have probably just stopped at Aritzia since that was the first stop and the only place I bought it at. I did um, return that Nordstrom thing. It's like 1.30, I'm gonna go home, finish check-ins, eat. Eat. Uh, I need to rest because honestly like my arm hurt like it's I feel sore right now or more sore than it did All right, y'all we're home. I'm waiting on some Amazon packages like the bra I'm supposed to wear I'm not like she told me to wear a sports bra until they get here But it's like this bra that like I think I told you guys before but it, like goes between basically just like goes between my boobs So I don't get like a uniboob situation, but I don't have those packages, but I do have a dark store package I don't know if this is for the next drop or if this is like stuff that because she said that they were going to send us a few things that we could wear to Memento Mori, but she said that we can wear the bikini tops, which is what me and Karen are going to wear. So let's see what this is. Okay, these are some shorts. Black with the wool inside. Sorry, I'm just like, I'm a guest or medium, thank God. Because <laughs> there was a while that I was like, yeah, you got to stop sending me my, my prep sizes because this ain't going to work. Yes! Okay, perfect. I told her to send me larges now. Um, I got this. Another, what is this called? The wellness bra, I called it the wrong thing the other night. But I like wearing, I wore this out on Saturday night, like the cream one I have. But yeah, so th this, we'll see. The wellness bras do, if you need a size down in a wellness bra, you can size down the other bras I knew that I needed a bigger size in. Oh my God, are you kidding? These are so cute! <gasps> the 
from soup and it comes in yes um it's like a black and pink are you fucking kidding me that's so cute love and then i told her to give me a large in this now oh if carrie can get this maybe we'll wear the black and pink because the black and pink is like a vibe okay why can't i see? okay can see what i there it's like this it's like a regular bikini top but it's like tie-dye that's fucking cute before I was like, mm, bikinis, yay. Now I'm like, I have titties. Oh my God, if this is what I think it is, if this is what I think it is. Oh, this is different than what I thought it was. Okay, this is a new bra. This is a new style for sure. No, it's not, just kidding. I wore this the other day. Um. So yes, okay, she sent me a large in this too, perfect. So this I have in green. I thought because I saw this wolf print, there's this one that I have that was, they sent in the first package they ever sent me that has not dropped since. I thought it was that, but it's not. Um, but it has this in the back. We'll see. I'll have to tell them. I might be annoyed and be like, oh, I need to go back to mediums. It's just the seamless mediums are not big enough, but these, like, I wore one of these yesterday and I could fit into it fine. So I don't fucking know. I might have to be annoying and tell them that I'm a weird size for them. What the fuck? <gasps> If this is what I think it is, I'm going to be so excited. I'm going to be so excited. Yes! I wanted to buy these from one of the last drops, but it was fucking sold out. Yes! It's just the, like, crap, the black, like, mm. Per. Okay. I've been wanting this. Fuck yeah. Okay, so I... I'm loving the color palette, because it's all black, which we love. And I'm just going to put this up here on my beautiful countertop that is so organized. Um... It also has come to my attention that some of y'all on Instagram don't follow me on TikTok because a lot of people are like, you want organizational videos. I was like, who do you, what, me? And I think you guys might be referring to the office situation. But if you guys been on TikTok, you know that my mom did that. I, I don't have to do that because my mom figured that out. I'm not doing any more organizing. I might go through my closet during this time, but other than that, no. Um, but I am going to make a little lunchy lunch. Um, it's going to be lettuce, beef, and then this sauce that I have, Flavor Gang Butcher Sauce. I'll show you when I make it, but... It's literally just lettuce, beef, and a sauce on it. Just because I don't want to make anything else right now. I'll eat some more carbs later, but that's my super easy. It's, it's definitely a cutting meal. That's for sure. But we're going to go and finish these check-ins and fill up my water because that is what's necessary. Okay, so I'm going through check-ins right now. I don't need you to see people's names at all. But basically, it's all done through WhatsApp. And then I'll write out my response on my notes app. And then... Um, that I copy and paste it, and then I'm also watching Tana Mojo's interview on the what? It's the Zach, um, the Zach's, Zach Sang, that's what I thought it was, Zach Sang show. I love his interviews, they're always just really good. Um, I don't know, so I was, I don't know what to tell you guys, I get, I asked today on Instagram, um, today on Instagram, like, what you guys want me to share, and a lot of people like coaching stuff. And I just, I'm trying to figure out what I can slash should share. Um, because I get this question a lot, and I've talked about this before. There is a fine line between me showing you what I do and just giving, like, a step-by-step -step guide of, like, how to be a coach. Just because that's just not how the game works. <laughs> um, but check-in days, like I've said before, I split them up between lifestyle and competition clients. They are due by 12 p.m. CST, so if they don't send them in by noon, that's not, like, a guaranteed response by end of, end of day. I'll get to them usually that day if not the next morning but those are like the rules set in stone essentially um but basically what they have to go over is they send me their photos so if your lifestyle it's just front to the side back um like bra and underwear just not posed or anything and then competition clients it's going to be your front and back pose um quarter turns for wellness to um bikini there's only the front and back pose then their daily weigh-in since like their last week check-in so let's say we checked in last monday their monday check-in for lifestyle for example they'll send me the tuesday through the following monday weigh-ins um they're assigned macros or if they have a meal plan they're assigned cardio and they're assigned step goal that's not what they hit or what they did that's what they've been assigned i have that all in their check-in just for organizational purposes 
that makes sense. Um, then they'll talk about their strength and training plan. They can send videos, PRs, something that they're struggling with, something they're proud of, just general, like, how they're feeling with training, digestion, how digestion is moving, sleep, um, any mishaps. Basically, that's where if you didn't do something that was assigned on plan, um, that's where you'd put that and just where anything went wrong. If nothing happened, like, in a prep, I expect it to be N-A all the time. So I'll just have them say N-A, N slash A. Um, whatever <laughs> and then comments like how they're feeling this week like whatever they want to tell me in the comment section and then their victory of the week um goal of the week and that goal of the week has to be the same each week until um it's been like accomplished basically so if your goal is to hit your water you don't change that goal until you've hit your water every single day um and yeah so i don't know i also do voice memos when i'm not like when i'm traveling voice text helps a lot um but yeah so lots of videos form like reviews shit like that um and then obviously programming so for example my client alexis if you're listening hey um we i talked to her last week and i told her i was like okay we need to change your training program up a bit she's been on it for a long time now and she has a we, we have opposite issues she's a wellness girl of mine she has a lot of booty she needs more quad and hamstring specifically hamstring um so i told her that I was gonna change her program up so i need to do that today as well but yeah i know i think a lot of people look at my coaching as like a side hobby <laughs> um when that's not like the case at all because <laughs> somebody asked me the, the other day they're like oh like how busy does coaching keep you i'm like that's like my main job the influencing part is like to the side um but yeah, I am going to start to go through my wait list to reach out to a few people, um, because I have about, like, 70 clients right now. I like to keep it around, like, 80, 85, so keep an eye out if you're on my wait list. You should know if you're on my wait list, because I messaged you back in, like, January. But yeah, that's what we're doing presently. I'm, like, listening to this podcast. I just got off the phone with my friend Sophia, and it's, like, 3 o'clock, so. Besties, keep on calling me. I just got off the phone with Eve and Holly. I'm going to visit, like, I was telling you guys earlier, I'm going to LA, then I'm going to Minneapolis. I'm going to go and see them. And she was, Holly was asking me what I'm restricted to doing. And I was like, I just can't, like, work out and, like, shit. And she was like, can you drink? I was like, absolutely. So, that was that. But I am making one of my clients a new, like, training program because she needs it. Um, so yeah, I'm taking out a lot of tricep movements, honestly, because homegirl got a lot of tricep, a lot of tricep, and really putting more volume, honestly, on her quad days, so that is what we're doing right now, finishing check-ins. Tomorrow night, though, I am filming with Adrian, so, but that's, like, I told him he can train, that we can go and do, like, some, like, night shots, so that's gonna be, like, evening hours, um, so I can go there tomorrow, because I need to get more gas, also I have a prime parking spot by my apartment that I just am not giving up, and yeah, so I'm just finishing up these check-ins right now, I would like to finish editing, I'm just telling you about all the things I want to do today, um, I would like to, this video, I look so, I'm so stupid lean in this video, but I filmed, like, a how I got into competing video, and I started editing it yesterday, so I want to finish doing that today, um, so yeah, after this check-in, I'm going to, like, walk through a check-in with you guys and, like, how I respond and, like, how I change things. Obviously not tell you who the client is, but you guys can get a better idea of, like, what check-in days are like for me. Same location. Just made a TikTok about it. just consistency when you first start. I don't know. I just saw this girl on my you page had a fat ass. Fat ass and thick ass thighs. And it had like 567,000 likes on it. And I was like, I just know all the comments. Like, drop the routine, sis. Drop the routine. Drop the routine. Or, I don't know. I just get pissed at people's comments. Some people are like, before and after. Okay. Could we ask for a please? Or like, could we see you before? It's just before and after. Show us. Anyways. So I just made a TikTok on that. And then I finished my training for that one client. Need to finish check-ins because it's literally 4 fucking 30. Oh my god, slay. What's lay? Yes, I want to say. Sorry. Um, I'm eating one of these light and fit came out with like a zero sugar version. So what is it? Zero fat, five carb, and eleven protein. So honestly, pretty lit. I got the mixed berry flavor. Um, but yeah. So I will be eating this now. It tastes like the Chobani ones. They're all the same to me, actually. I'm not going to put that in this garbage because I know myself and I will not throw that garbage away for a very long time. It is like not as thick in consistency, I'd say. 
a little runnier. Okay, it doesn't really look runnier, but... Yeah, the other one I feel like is, like, really, really thick. Um, there's peanut butter on this spoon. Like, old peanut butter. I love that for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. So, I'm gonna eat this. I guess, okay, so I was gonna show you a check-in. <laughs> one of them was a client that... She'd been traveling, and she's kind of been off for a while, and... Um, she had to take a break from coaching, now she's back, so that's probably the wrong check-in to show you. Um, but when there's a right one, I will show you. Okay, I finally found a check-in that I can, like, go through with you guys. So, like I said, I'm not gonna mention names or anything, and obviously I can see photos and you can't. Um, and honestly, when it comes to check-ins, photos tell me so much more than your weigh-ins do. Like, I can... There are many times where you're, like, someone's weight may not have dropped, like, let's say we're in a cut and their weight hasn't dropped, or let's say their weight spiked up, like, on check-in day, whatever, but their photos look better, like, I can tell the difference. Um, but basically, yeah. So this client, she's in a reverse right now. So we ended her cut. So she's been cutting for a minute, and she's somebody that I can push. She just is that type of person. So we ended her cut on 155 protein, 100 carb, and 35 fat. Um, so we've been reversing from there. Um, she's doing cardio. She's doing kind of a lot of cardio. She's doing six 50-minute sessions. She was somebody that had to push, but that was her last week. I told her, I said, I'm going to give you a little bit of a taste of prep right now. Um, because she had mentioned that she wants to, like, she was thinking about competing in the future. I told her, when we were cutting, I told her, I said, I'm going to push you further than I would a lifestyle, a normal lifestyle cut. Um, just because I want you to be able to prove to yourself that you can stick to aggressive protocol basically so she sent me in her check-ins today she sent me her photos she doesn't look like she's holding water or anything honestly like it looks pretty similar to last week which is good because I bumped her food up last week she was at 125 carb we went up to 140 carb and then well, I feel like I lied to you guys on her cutting fat but whatever um her cardio is now at 5 35 minute sessions um I really like to bring cardio down First, if their cardio is pretty high when I start reversing, because I want you to be rested. Um, I'm still gonna up food, but I am gonna try to bring cardio down first. Cardio is manageable now. It's five 35-minute sessions, so it's not that bad. Um, she said training's been good. She's been feeling slightly more weaker than usual, but trying to push as much as she can. So when they say that, when it comes to training, I'm gonna look at your. We gotta look at sleep. We gotta look at digestion, and we have to look at just like life stressors in general, and then also training meals, because a lot of people especially when you're in a cut like a lot of people will want to save carbs for like right before bed or something like that right but when you're cutting it doesn't really come down to like what you want to do it's more so like how are we fueling these workouts so like for instance when I was in prep like even if I was on what 50 40 carb those carbs are going in my pre and post workout meal I don't care if I want to have some before bed oatmeal fuck your feelings like it's you're the training is what's most important at that point um so that's what you're gonna look at or what i look at um when training like when we look at like your strength isn't where it's at um but also sometimes it can just be like mental blocks too um she said digestion is good sleep is pretty good average eight hours sunday was e her mishap was sunday but it was easter so to be honest i don't give a shit um Overall, she said it's a good week on top of her food this week. Um, and she goes, it's crazy how much a difference it makes. Boom. And then getting better at pull-ups, solid. And then she said focus on more intensity. Um, so first thing I'm going to do here, well, I'm going to be like, hey, like, happy sun, like, whatever. I'll get a good Easter, whatever. This is what I'll say first. <laughs> I'm going to tell her no worries about Sunday. Whatever. No worries about Sunday, something about whatever. I'm glad you got to spend time with family. Because it is important, especially um, something like Easter. If you're not in prep, I'm not going to be pissed that you didn't eat your macros. I don't expect you to eat your macros. It is important that like you get to live your life too. I think that's important, especially when we're looking at a lifestyle client. My response, let's say it wasn't Easter and it was just some like, oh, I was off plan this day, right? My response is going to be different depending on the person. Each individual needs a different, like, response. Like, for instance, with me with Kerrigan, I don't listen to her when she's nice to me. She kind of has to give me a hard-ass response for me to fucking respond. So you kind of have to understand, like, your client and which way they need, to, like, how they take feedback best, right? And it's going to be different if it's somebody that, like, I had a client um, earlier today. She's always on her shit. Like, genuinely, since we started together, um, I think it was January, 
like she hasn't had an off day she hasn't had an off meal and she celebrated her birthday and she's like oh i want to get back to it like i'm not gonna give you tough love because it's like it's your fucking life like i'm not gonna tell you don't enjoy your birthday you're not on prep right but if it's somebody that hasn't followed their protocol and has been struggling for weeks on end like my response is gonna be a little bit more tough lovey depending on the person all right my financial advisor called me so i kind of forgot where i was left off or uh, where i left off um so sorry about that um basically with her i'm like okay like no worries about sunday i'm like glad you were able to enjoy time with friends and family you know we need to enjoy life at some point right um telling her to get more water in today if she is not um just because it was an untracked day for her and she said that she drank um and she said that she's getting better at pull up so i'm gonna ask for a video on that Boom. and honestly her weigh-ins have been good i am going to increase food a little bit just because i do find when you're reversing especially with the lifestyle client the first time they've been reversing i like to bring up food not super super slow um just because when you start to bring food up in a reverse you will find that you are more hungry then than you are when you were in like even like a lower of a deficit right and a lot of time that's when people are gonna want to eat off plan and kind of go crazy so i like to get food up to a healthy place sooner rather than later so i'm gonna increase her food i'm gonna keep cardio and her steps here right now um but i'm going to ask about training because she didn't send me any training videos so i'm gonna tell her that i want her to send me some videos this week she said she wants to focus on more on intensity right and i do find that filming is one of the easiest ways to do that because most of the time when you are like you think you're going to failure right you watch a video and you're like bitch like you had four more left in you right so i do want to see more training videos from her so i'm gonna ask her for that but yeah we're gonna bring her food up to um uh, we're gonna do keep protein where it's at we're gonna bring fat up a bit i'm gonna bring her up to 160 carb and bring her up to 40 fat um this week and we're gonna keep the cardio and um, steps where they're at and then ask her to send those things so it really just depends on the person like how I'm changing it um and like what phase of life they're in because like right now I have a lot of people that started with me in like February they're still in like a cutting phase and also I did a lot of these check-ins earlier today but that's what's happening right now sup y'all it's been multiple days what you're looking at now is the aftermath um so basically, I don't know the last time we talked, I think I was just getting ready. On Thursday, I lost my keys at a restaurant with Mel, so then I locked myself in my apartment, and my landlord had to let me in at 11pm. My flight, I had to leave at 5am, but I made it, we made it, we went to Memento Mori. Um, you'll see that footage, and I'm sorry for when you do, my voice explains much. I need to fucking Uber eat some like Mucinex this morning because I'm dying. But anyways, now I'm at my friends lauren joey and natalie's house um they're like my college friends out here so i'm in like up in claremont area right now um claremont area sorry um like southern california whatever um this morning matt has to get her hair done so i'm gonna go to a coffee shop and like do my check-ins and shit like that but i'm here until wednesday and then i'll be back for one day and then i go to minneapolis but anyways you will see Memento Mori footage soon. I have been a vlogging girly, so I will show you that. I'm gonna upload that for Adrian today. But everyone, say shout out to King Adrian for editing this video because otherwise it would not be up. But slay. Who you a fool for this? Who you a fool for this? I walk like I talk like I act like I look like I think like my shit don't stink. I fuck like I suck like I ride like I taste like I look like my shit don't stink. I walk like